Hey everybody, we've got someone very special today at Larson Farms here. He is a huge part of our channel, keeping this channel supported. And since we bring a lot of free content to you guys, he wanted to step in here. This is the owner of Agricultural Chemical Solutions. This is John. He came all the way up here from Indiana. Indianapolis, yeah. Yeah, so. Got to see the crops on the way, uh, all different kinds of terrains. Uh, Really interesting, uh, anxious for this uh, new harvest season to come in. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be pretty exciting, especially to watch you know, the good videos that you're, you've been doing. Really looking forward to seeing uh, Harvest 2020 Yeah, Larson Farms. Yeah, we're, we're getting ready here, as you guys know. And he's on his vacation time, you know. No one's really thinking too much right now about purchasing chemicals come November. We're going to be sitting down, you know, starting to think about that also. So don't forget about Agricultural Chemical Solutions and John here. He'd love to sell you guys some chemical and he's really competitive on prices. We've been doing business with you for 10 years or so. Yeah, we really appreciate that. And plus yeah. all the uh, people that have watched the channel. Got mm -hmm. a lot of people come to us from that. And uh, we appreciate that and the work that uh, Chet's been doing. It's great to have you. Yeah, no, it's going to be great. He's, he's coming up here. He's going to northern Minnesota doing a fishing trip with some of his buddies. Yeah. And uh, he's also going to visit another farmer in the area, area that is another big customer of yours. Yeah, just around the corner here and going around there and looking forward to my slow season, which is during harvest, and we'll be ready to hit it back again come Thanksgiving and yeah. uh, go hard from... Thanksgiving through the end of August. So. Yeah, get that preseason bookings and want to talk talk about any of that. Uh, feel free to give me a call. The, yeah, the contacts are in uh, link the, link in the description. Agricultural Chemical Solutions, and I'm going to let him get going to his other appointment for the night, and then to enjoy his nice vacation. It sounds nice, but I'm also very excited to get into these things yeah we've worked long and hard as you guys have watched us and we're ready to sit in a seat now yeah, <laughs> instead, of, instead of work out everything it's going to be great to get into a, behind a wheel and do what we love to do farming definitely <laughs> take care yeah chat yeah uh, good luck with your harvest yes okay. let's appreciate you dropping in okay take yep. care a killer man that's a killer don't you love it yeah it's real comfortable i always like the big old coon tail at me <laughs> oh you got to get some behind the scenes footage everyone's nervous when a camera comes out i don't care who you are makes me nervous i'm in front of it for how many hours a day you are you're wasting time no no not me Hey everybody, how's it going today? Appreciate you guys tuning in. We are gonna be removing tracks from the 9870 today. They're coming off, I believe. Hopefully we get it done today. You know, just when I think I know what I'm doing for the day, something happens and gets changed. But that's the plan as of right now. So we're washing up the uh, skinny tires that it came with. I don't have my radio. I don't have my radio. So he's washing up the tires that came with that combine. We chose to do this because if it does get wet, most likely we'll put the tracks back on instead of the other big tires that we had on there we, we actually might be selling. They're 710 uh, straddle duels. If anyone's interested, you can hit me up on email, but I think we will be selling those is our thoughts right now. So while he's washing up the tires, I'm gonna rearrange in here, and get the combine in position so we can get tracks off, tires back on. So these tracks are actually a little bit more tricky to remove than those John Deere tracks that we just put on the 790. Those, there's a lot more steps with the 790, but it's a lot more simple. This right here, you can only remove four bolts at a time, and then you have to jump in, start up the combine, stand on the opposite side brake, and drive when it's up on jacks so that you expose more bolts. And just same way putting them on. We've 
tried doing the, taking the drive shaft off right here and rotating it manually, but that is a lot of rotating. So we went to just standing on the brake. Works pretty good. It's a little bit sketchy, but we've had them on and off three times and never had a problem. So it's just a, another step. And the other thing is that these sit higher than the wheels do. So once we get these off, we're gonna have to also level the feeder house. So this is a manual tilt feeder house. You have to manually adjust the bolts and the eye bolts to level this at, I believe, 38 inches. Don't quote me on that. 34 inches, maybe. Something like that. You have to have this level at that measurement. Well, we had to adjust that when we put tracks on because it sits higher in the front. And when you put the tires back on, it's gonna be lower and we'll have to pitch that back more, I believe how that goes something like that it is what it is so that's what we got going we're taking these off like i said a couple videos ago these are very hard on this machine the tracks on the 790 you can have your combine under warranty yet and run tracks because those tracks are deer approved they actually are now deer tracks so they can be ran on that machine under warranty and they're not hard on the machine like these tracks are they're hard on the machine, a lot more hard. This combine wasn't designed to have tracks on it, is what it is. It was our choice to run them and we had to. I mean, the conditions were so bad, we had to run them. A lot of guys in this area own tracks. I bet there was actually probably more farmers in this area with tracks than without tracks the last couple years. Holy cow. So here's what I was talking about. Got my four bolts out. Now we need to rotate the track over, which I'll have to wait till Eric's done washing. Cause I'm not gonna do that by myself. So I need someone to watch and to be here in case something bad happens. So we gotta go see how Eric's doing. And then I come out here thinking, well, he should be done. Why ain't he done by now? It's washing his pickup. Some people. It's hard to keep people motivated. So we're ready to pick it up. We got one bolt holding it on. So he's got to get the forks through right here. Okay, we're gonna have him take some pressure off of this thing, and then I'm gonna take that bolt out. And he'll walk away with it, hopefully. are a little bit lighter than them deer tracks, that's for sure. Thank you. 
too bad. That went pretty good for one guy that was trapped in the skid loader. So it turns out we can't keep going here very much longer because we sold the bolts with some spacers on that last combine. So can't find them. My wife, Nicole's going to town to pick up new bolts, 20 new bolts. And we're pumping these up. Eric took this side off with Randy because I was on a phone call for 40 minutes. So they got this off, tire back on. We're pumping her up, get some more bolts, get the duels on. I really hate how small these tires are. Don't make it look like a beast at all, but I think it will be the best in the end. They look so little. Mm. One more side to do. pounds yeah isn't that what they run oh, it says out? 30 on there huh let's get in 26 okay she's coming down watch your toes were you the guy that wrecked the jack <laughs> well we had an accident small cost it looks a little relaxed now <laughs> so now we get to adjust the feeder house tilt Yes, we do. Feeder house tilt is you put a level on the front of this and it's supposed to be level when the bolt is at 34. 34 inches, that bolt. So now we get to loosen up a bunch of hardware and tilt it till it's level. I got compensating, mine loose. Are you ready? Compensating for the heavy head it's tilting the front of the combine down now, just a little bit. Because when the 45 foot draper is on the 98, we will surely slug it. Someone's sure. gonna have to sit on the back. Yeah, that's not <laughs> happening. 35 footer. We ready? Is this one ready? We gotta do one more TCM calibration. Yeah. TMC? TCM. TCM. And we're perfect. We're ready. Can we go test run it, you think? Let's just run it for sure. Just go. Green beans. The, just forget about yeah. it. Let's just go. Well, no, not, not tomorrow. Why? Bowl Gotta go schwacking. Oh gosh. I'm calibrating the TCM. I was parked right on the edge of that slab. That's where all our TCMs get calibrated. You have to sit with the, drive the axle on a line basically, and then hit this button, and then turn the combine around, park on that same line, hit that calibration button once again, and then you're calibrated. And what I believe that does is just tell the globe where it's sitting on the machine, I, I think, I really, don't know. I know it, it has to be done anytime you move the globe to a different machine. This thing now looks really small compared to the 45. That is insane what a difference it is. Still big, but small compared to the 45 footer. That is for sure. So I had to run to a meeting this afternoon, so I didn't get too much more done. I know Eric 
finished up that combine. It should be field ready tomorrow. If I had to go combine, we could. And we're getting closer. Next week, I think we're going to be into some soybeans, hopefully, and get this beast out. So I appreciate you guys watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can watch more great content from Larson Farms. And we're getting to the what everyone watches for. I mean, you've watched us get everything ready. I can't wait. I cannot wait just because I enjoy it myself so much. And I also enjoy showing the equipment actually working. You get to see us work on it all year long. It's great to see this. So see you guys next time. I appreciate it.